even if you're late to class. Walk, if it's, if it's slippery outside, be safe. Okay, bye, guys. Hi, thanks for tuning in today, it's, and welcome to Coast News. I'm Justin. It's Tuesday, January 13, 2015. After-school detention will be happening today in E103 from 3.15 to 4 p.m. Bring your homework. We have a special news bulletin for you straight from the front office. There's absolutely no jumping over the nets on the blacktop. Students who are seen attempting to jump over the nets will receive a serious consequence. The safety of the students at River Heights is very important, and we don't want anybody getting hurt. So remember, there's absolutely no jumping over the nets on a block top at any time. If you dare someone to do it, you can be in serious trouble as well, so don't do it. Our school competes every year at our District Math Field Day comp competition. If you would like to be on the team, go to d 11 a on Tuesdays after school. Math Field Day practices will be taking place every Tuesday from 3.15 to 4 p.m. in room D118. Go Colts! There's a cool Colts lunch happening tomorrow. Here are the names. Are you ready? Hi, Colts. Our January Cool Colt Award recipients are Jack Liu, Damaris Orozoko, Kaylin Grant Golinger, Claire Vale, Elizabeth Mendeville, Willie Makpala, Sophia Reyes, Zinyu Zhang, Jarek Spanillo, Ritazoma, Dylan Gilbert, Aliza Chowdy, Kelly Jimenez, Tyson McDonald. Sherman Rendon and Vincent Dew. And it's three week progress support time again. Figure out your GPA too. Fill out the yellow sheet in your planner for this Wednesday. Hi, I'm Rihanna. Here's a friendly reminder for Miss Donna, our librarian. If you come to the library in the morning hours at lunch or after school, don't forget that this is a library and you have to be quiet. Libraries are quiet places where anyone can come and read a book, do research on computers, play chess, do homework, or relax and think. Come and enjoy our library, but be quiet. This social skills for the week will take place tomorrow. It's showing sensitivity to others. That means you should express interest and concern for others, especially when they're having troubles. This Wednesday, it's called College T-shirt Wednesday. Wear your favorite college's shirt to represent. Also, please wear <laughs> your uh, cult spirit this Friday. There's a club live meeting this Friday, E209 meeting starts after school. Hi, my name is Wandi. Do you have what it takes to get your poem on the yearbook? If you think so, yearbook will be holding a poetry contest just for you. Rules are simple. All you have to do is write a poem that goes along with our yearbook theme, celebrating the year. Everyone has an opportunity, and the winner gets to have their amazing poem in our yearbook. Turn in your poem to the language arts teacher or to D205 by March 5th. May the poem be with you and good luck, Colt. Tomorrow, tomorrow is college teacher Wednesday. All right, that's, that'll do it for today, Colt. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Here's how the inaugural championship game went down in North Texas. In the first quarter, Oregon would come out of the gate and score in their first possession on a seven-yard pass from Marcus Mariota to Keenan Lowe. First strike, 7-0 Oregon. Later in the first quarter, Ezekiel Elliott would join the party on a 33-yard run to even the score at 7. Iowa State's next possession, redshirt sophomore Cardell Jones would look for Devin Smith in the end zone, but would draw a pass interference call. This would set up Ezekiel Elliott on a 17-yard rush to put Nick Van Nett on the end of a one-yard touchdown reception, Buckeyes would go up 14-7. In the second quarter, Carl Jones would fumble the ball, which would be recovered by Oregon. Marcus Mariota would find Byron Marshall first on a 20-yard and then on a 17-yard pass. But Thomas Tyner would be stuffed at the line on a fourth and goal. Buckeyes' next possession will end in another turnover. This time, Jones will find Corey Smith for 47 yards, but Troy Hill would take the ball away. However, Oregon would not be able to convert. Adolphus Washington would come up big on a five-yard sack to force the three and out. Buckeyes get the ball back. This time, Jones finds Devin Smith for 45 yards before calling his own number to punch it in from the one. Buckeyes would go up 21 to seven. Oregon looking to put points up before the half. Mariota to Stanford. He had the drop earlier on third down, but this time he'll pick up 28 yards and the first. Mariota would also connect with Marshall and Charles Nelson, but will end up settling for a 26-yard field goal. Score would be 21-10, Ohio State lead at the half. Turnover woes would continue for the Buckeyes in the third quarter as Cardell Jones is intercepted by Danny Mattingly. 
This time, Oregon will be able to convert Marcus Mariota on a 70-yard touchdown pass to Byron Marshall, 21-17 Ohio State. Cardell Jones would later be sacked by Tyson Coleman again, 17-yard loss, also another fumble. Ohio State would later cap a 12-play, 75-yard drive that takes 6.39 off the clock. Ezekiel Elliott would score from 9 yards out to make it 28-20. Now in the fourth quarter, Cardell Jones would come out slinging. First a 23-yard pass to Michael Thomas, and then another 19-yard toss to Jalen Marshall before Ezekiel Elliott again would punch it in from 2 yards out. That would make it 35-20 Ohio State. Ezekiel Elliott would manage another one-yard run to make it 42-20, and that'll be your final score. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes would claim the first-ever college football playoff championship and their eighth national title.